Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a podcast on a movie called The Monster Squad. Now, say what you will about this movie. I know it's not as good technically as The Goonies, but it is just as loved by me. The movie came out in 1987, directed by Fred Deckier. You have Stan Winston doing some of the special effects. The actors, no one you really know, I guess, in some sense. So it is a movie called The Monster Squad about the universal, the classic monsters. And it just captures my heart. It is unending fun for me. Now, when I was younger, the first things I was fascinated with is probably the old black and white horror movies from Universal. So Dracula, Wolfman, Frankenstein, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Mummy, all those black and whites. And I followed everything and I would piece together what movies were connected. I knew all the different Frankensteins at the time. I was fascinated. And as soon as I was old enough and started doing models, I started doing the Universal Classic Monsters. They had a whole run of them in the store. And you can go and get the Wolfman and Dracula, Creature from Black Lagoon, Frankenstein. Now, they weren't as complicated or as complex as, like, you know, uh, some of the fighter planes and some of the cars. They were mostly, you know, big pieces that stood on a base. And then you painted them. Oh, if I wish I kept those from my childhood, I had such a fascination and it just harkens back to just, I came probably being a toddler, just growing up, being born in 1971, just everything that these universal monsters uh, brought to the screen and my love of Abbott and Costello and you just have gold right there. And this gives me that feeling. It's mostly a comedy. It's got some dark parts in it. You know, you got Dracula trying to get an amulet. And he's recruiting all the monsters. And, you know, he's the one in charge, so to speak. The plot is about, uh, I think they're mostly younger than teenagers. Except you might have one in there. You know, the older one that they kind of recruit. And they have this monster club. And they... Uh, no trivia it's a great kids movie in, th in that way the little sister is adorable how the plot comes together is just fun as hell the recruitment of one of the monsters on their team it just just gets you in the feels it just brings me back again and i'm older here than i was in the goonies you know so i'm 16 but it just brought such a joy to me, like I said, from growing up with the um, Universal Monsters since I can remember. It's like Universal Monsters, Rolling Stones, Kiss. Uh, these are the things that are formed as just around me rather than, you know, something I found and they're part of me. And the Monster Squad is definitely one of them. It's got that... Uh, we got to get our friends together feel it's not like a treasure hunt like the Goonies, but you got this great cast of kids. They work great together. How you wrangle some of the younger ones, the little girls, just hilarious. And you've got the teenager adult cool guy with the leather jacket who uh, kind of befriends him because of uh, ulterior motives in a way, but becomes a major part of the team and they've got to take on monsters i mean we got the mummy uh i don't know if they call him the creature well it's a gill man you know it's a creature from the black lagoon the wolf man and like goonies this did leave an imprint on the genre it wasn't that big of a box office thing but it definitely is a cult classic 
gaining a lot of attention, a lot of fans over the years. Uh, Wolfman's got Nards. Come on, that's just classic. And there's the feel through the whole movie. It's paced well. It's got great shots and special effects. The monsters have done great, if not a little more on the comedic side, it, in a sense. But there's some dark stuff in this movie, which is pretty uh, relevant when you're looking at the uh, other side of it. So these kids happen upon a plot. No one's believing the main kid, and he's you know he's just monster nerd, and they got to figure things out. Dracula, like I said, has an amulet. He's getting the monsters together, and the kid's father's a cop, and some I think yeah, I think he's a cop or detective. The movie comes together well. Uh, the plot, yeah, okay, it's a it's a little goofy and. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be a, uh, you know, in the running for a better movie than The Goonies. But where The Goonies were giving me the Indiana Jones feel, this went a little deeper in a way because it was, oh, I know these monsters. I love these monsters. I grew up on them. And I was fascinated with Abbott and Costello. Uh you know, they did all the classic monster movies, and they were great. I loved them. I watched them all the time. I had another fascination just in general with Abbott Costello following their old TV show to their um, live performances. They were a big part of my childhood. And this movie is too. I might have watched this just as much as I watched Goonies, I got to admit. It's got a... You know, it's got a, a special feel for it and done well enough that it captures me every time. I don't watch it and get that dated feel. Uh, like I said, though, you do have to immerse yourself in a world that's a little more comedy driven. But <clears throat> since I love the Abbott Costello movie so much, this is just a breath of fresh air. It was You don't see it done. And they recently... Well, recently, but in the last couple of years, thought Universal would start their own uh, universe. Like, they would have their own connected movie universe. And it shit the bed. I mean, movies were fucking not that good. They didn't feel like they were even put together with lots of love and um, care. I don't know if I could think of them or they changed them, but I like the Dracula one. It's okay. Um, the mummy one with Tom Cruise was fucking, ugh. And then I think there's another one in there. And then they, I don't know if I, Franken, was the fucking, the good looking Frankenstein? Was that supposed to be in it too? I don't know. But Universal Monsters to me, always going to be a big part of my, uh, childhood. They invoke, um, feelings that the newer versions don't do for me, but... Give me the classics. I'll watch the old black and white Frankenstein movies. Um, I love the special effect makeup aspect of it. I'm a big fan of that stuff. I um, was always fascinated. always had an idea about doing special effects and how cool it was. And this movie is right up there in that way where you got your classic monsters brought to life. Uh, you can't get any better than this, in my opinion, if you're going for something like that. I mean, there might be... Well, I think Goonies spawned a whole bunch of things that, um, you know, that this is... That impacts movies like this. But this isn't a, a different league for me. It's, it's just something that captivates me. I can see people not enjoying it too much, rolling their eyes. But I love the old classic monsters I wish they were done right again I mean you get your you know Bram Stoker's Dracula I loved they're out there and, but this one kind of like I said kind of blends in that comedy that I love from Abbott Costello but sets a tone about children no one will believe them and then it's you know, proven to be true, and there's like some magic and sorcery type things in it from Dracula. Well, it's just the amulet, and they kind of show a flashback to the old um, 
Van Helsing type connection on how uh, it was foretold when those prophecy type things and they, you gotta watch it I recommend it highly if you don't know about it just you maybe read up on it and just if you're gonna if you're gonna at least give it a shot and you're not sure if you want to watch something a little funny lots to do with kids now could you have your kids watch this movie I say yes but I don't have any kids and I could probably see where people are like no you know as funny as it is here and there is this too much uh destruction or you know um darker themes in it but i don't know it's a different age i'd say well let kids watch it but the monster squad from 1987 love this movie i watch it all the time although not as good technically as maybe goonies it is still close to my heart and dear to me Go watch it. I will see everybody next time. Take care, everybody.